Without any further ado, I'd like to introduce myself. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to PE with Joe. As you can see, under strict doctor's orders, I'm unable to move this hand. On Friday, I went to the hospital after that PE session when I was the, the, the King Arthur, and I'll tell you what, I was in so much pain. I spent the weekend in hospital, I was on morphine, they were taking care of me, and on Saturday night, I texted my wife, I said, Rosie, I really don't think I'm gonna be able to take part in this workout. I was really upset, and she said, don't worry, husband, darling, I'll be there for you. And true to her word, you know, in sickness and in health, my wife is gonna be here today demonstrating all the exercises. So I'll be coaching, I've got the workout plan, but Rosie will be demonstrating all the exercises. I wanna start off by saying, the quiz today is gonna to be a history quiz. So all about history, I've got it on my board here. We've also got five spot the differences, which is gonna be wonderful. And we're doing our four week fitness challenge. So four weeks ago today, we done our challenge to one minute of squats, one minute of press ups and one minute of burpees. So we're gonna start things off with that. And I wanna dedicate this whole, this whole workout specifically and especially to the NHS and all the doctors and nurses around the world because, I'm just gonna reset this timer quickly, because I spent the whole weekend in the hospital and you know, I arrived there and I was greeted by someone from Scotland, someone from Ireland, there was a nurse from the Philippines, Sri Lanka, India, even Jamaica, and I thought what an amazing thing that all of these people from all around the world come together and they're working and they're helping people get better and I just thought that was so amazing, I felt so grateful because we see the NHS as this big system from the government but it's a community of people who are so kind and so loving and they're there to take care of it. If you walk in the hospital, the richest man in the world or the poorest man in town, they'll be there to take care of him for that. I'm eternally grateful, I feel very proud. So I thought we could do a nice little dedication to that and just do a little 30 second, just a little pause, just close our eyes and let's just imagine we're sending them all our love. So close your eyes everybody, just for 30 seconds. And think of all the doctors and nurses, all the wonderful people out there that work in the hospitals. Think of all the people that are isolating on their own. Think of all the people in the world and send them all the love you can. Just take a nice deep breath. Think about all those wonderful people, so kind and loving and helping everyone get better through this time. And we, we appreciate you, we're so grateful for you. And we love you every day, we're so proud of you. Thank you to NHS in the UK and thank you to all the doctors and nurses all around the world. I feel quite emotional, it was an amazing weekend being there and just meeting those lovely people. And I want to say we've got an announcement as well. Nikki, can you tell me how much money we've now raised for the NHS charities together with the t-shirt sales and the YouTube views? We can just announce it's just over £200,000 going to that charity which distributes it all around the, U uh, the UK to the NHS uh, charities and it's amazing. I'm so proud of it. So thank you for buying the t-shirts, thank you for tuning in um, and we can get going with our workout. One quick thing I thought you might like to see, I've got my quiz here on my board. Now I knew I was going to get papped on the way home from the uh, hospital so I was driving home I thought when I get out of the car I'm going to pull the silliest face I can. I'm going to do the silliest walk and just hopefully do such a silly photo that no papers in the world want to buy it. But this is what happened. So I basically got out of the car, I went, and I was doing it all the way up, bringing right back. I was leaning so far back. I mean, they didn't even use the good ones, and I was right back like that. But here's the photo that it says What's going on? The YouTuber appeared to do some sort of back bend as he made his way towards home. So there's picture one. Can you see that? There's picture one, which is quite silly. Number two, here I am as a close-up, in good spirits, Joe Wicks, 33, larks about his, outside his Richard home, I think they mean Richmond, on Sunday lunch, as he returned from hospital following an operation on his wrist. So there I am, doing my Ministry of City walks, and there's a close-up, just in case. So that was it, that was me, Joe, Joker Joe appeared to do some sort of backbend as he pulled funny faces while making his way along in his sliders. So there you go, right. Okay, so we've done all our bits and bobs, I think it's time to introduce my wonderful wife and teaching assistant, Miss Rosie Wicks. Come on, Rosie. Hello. Here she is, are you ready for the workout? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. So I'm this ready. is very much out of Rosie's comfort zone. We've just done three TV interviews, which is quite nerve wracking, but she has been doing my YouTube work. because I come downstairs sometimes and I do see Rosie doing my videos. Is that true? It's true. I sometimes do your PE, I try and do it, but I'm also at the same time trying to keep the kids quiet. So. Well, let's all, let's all give Rosie a little clap, a little clap, a little high five, Rosie. Thank you for being here, you're an amazing wife, and I, I appreciate this. I, couldn't be, I would not be able to do this without you right now. I know, but I wanted you to rest, because I know that if I didn't do this, you would try doing it, and you'd get all sweat in your So thank you, right. If you stand on this side, we'll start our warm up. So first one's going to be toe touches. Yeah, so left to right, touching our toes, toe touches left to right, perfect. And let's kick things off with a question. So trivia. 
Just following Rosie, demonstrating the exercises there with toe touches. How many wives did Henry VIII have? How many wives did Henry VIII have? Perfect, Rosie, Cut, touching those toes. Left to right, brilliant. Next one, standing up tall, it's gonna to twist, rotate, left to right, elbows up. So the answer is, world trivia, how many wives did Henry VIII have? He had six wives, how greedy is that? I'm very happy with one, but one wonderful yes. wife. So left to right, perfect. Now we're gonna do a few squats, so just squatting down nice and low, standing, open up your hips, perfect. Right, so we've got the quiz, we've got five spot the differences. We've got our four week fitness challenge starting off with, and it's a massive dedication thank you to all of the amazing NHS staff who took care of me and are taking care of so many people right now. Question number two, which year did Barack Obama become US president? That's a good one. Okay, right, the next one we're gonna do, we're just gonna basically from a side, just lunge backwards, like that, yeah? So just a reverse lunge, that's it, just warming up those legs. Perfect. Got your water bottle there, yeah? There you go. So a few little lunges. Perfect, right, the answer was Barack Obama became US president in January 2009. Okay, next one, we're gonna do a walk out. So hands on the ground, slowly walk out into a plank. And then from there, you walk back up, stand up nice and tall. Good, do a few of those. Just walking the hands out along the carpet on the floor into a high plank, stand up nice and tall, do two more rows each. So, the questions are all about world trivia, uh, sorry, the questions last week were all about world trivia, today they're all about history. So one more Rosie, perfect. <sighs> Is it making a noise? What am I grabbing? Oh, just check this thing. Oh. oh, okay, it's making, so it's taking too much noise. Right, so, uh, next one we're gonna do Rosie, it's gonna be, um, lost my train of thought now. Uh, oh, mar just march on the spot, yeah, just march on the spot, just getting those knees up. <laughs> Marching on the spot. Okay, so marching on the spot. Perfect. Great technique. Thank you. Okay, I think we're ready to start now. So Rosie, we're actually going to have to start today with the one minute squat challenge. So it's going to be a timer. I'll set the timer and we're going to just do as many squats as we can in 60 seconds. Yeah, so just remember your form. So nice sort of wide stance coming down. Yeah. Stand up tall. You ready for it? So guys, remember guys and girls, this is the one minute fitness challenge. 60 seconds of squats in three, two, one. Let's go. Good. So Rosie, you can just count your reps. Remember, try and keep hold of the number that you had in your head from last time off you wrote it down and your aim today is to beat that number uh, by even one or two, or if you, if you can, by 10. Let's go. Perfect, Rosie. So it's gonna be 60 seconds of squats, then we have a little rest, and then we're gonna do your favorite, which is burpees. Press up. Oh, God. Press up, and then we're gonna do burpees. How did I do my first this day? Feels quite, this feels strange, strange for me to not be exercising, but yeah, I definitely can't um, do any press ups or mountain climbers or anything running with this arm at the moment. Oh, I forgot to say, keep going Rosie, you've got 25 seconds, I've got a note from my mum, I forgot to read oh. it, so this is the main reason why I can't do pee today. Right, keep going, I'll read that in a second. So Rosie, you've got 15 seconds. I've you completely keep... lost count. Lost count? Never mind. Because <laughs> I was talking. Okay, you've got 10 seconds, so last few reps, keep going everybody, as many squats as you can, this is great technique, nice straight back, sitting into your heels, standing up tall in three, two, one, and relax, perfect, right, let's have a little one minute rest. I'm just gonna read my note that my mum wrote me, because you know, whenever you miss PE, you've got to have a note from the teacher, haven't you? So, dear teacher, Joe is unable to do PE today because I forgot to wash his PE kit. True story. Uh, he was also bitten by a dragon on Friday and had to spend the whole weekend in hospital. That's another true story, as you can see by this wound. Um, P.S., his maths homework got eaten by a crocodile. So, no maths homework, sorry mum. Um, and no pee for job, I've been excused. So today, at least today and tomorrow, will you, will you be here for me tomorrow? I've just been told that I'm doing tomorrow as well. Well, you did say, didn't you? I, I'm happy to, yeah. In sickness and in health. I'm just worried that you're gonna think that I'm better at than you. And you're you are, you are gonna take over. I mean, look, Mrs. Body Coach. <laughs> okay, so, next one, Rosie. Down on the knees, we're gonna be doing press-ups. You don't have to do full push-ups, just keeping those elbows bent, and then straighten yeah. as many as you can in 60 seconds. Yeah. You ready for it? In three, two, one, let's go. So everyone, let's go, 60 seconds of push-ups. Either full push-ups where you're off the floor completely, or like Rosie's doing, on the knees. And remember Rosie, if you burn out and you need to have a rest, it's fine. You can always stop, shake your arms off, and then go again. I've Brilliant. always found press-ups so hard. Great technique, and remember <laughs> keeping the nice straight back and keeping your abs tight. When you go down, like tense your abs, keep your tummy nice and flat. Doing really well, Rosie. Remember, it's tough, so if you burn out, keep breathing. A lot of people tend to hold their breath on the exercise. It's important to inhale and exhale, get all the oxygen to your muscles. Right, you're halfway, Rosie. Good, let's bend those elbows and push. She's doing really well. This is the most push-up I've ever seen you do. What are you on? Have you counted? Oh no, I keep forgetting to count. You are strong, you are I'm a strong woman. Right, 20 three. seconds to go. So remember, bend, Rosie, bend ah. the elbows and then push straight to the top. Let's try for five more reps. Five, come on, four, keep pushing. 
three, you've got 10 seconds on the clock, can you do more rows? I haven't counted. Keep going. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax. Well done, amazing. You're strong. No, You're strong. I don't right. So, little water break. So, tell us in the comments how many you've done, how many push ups did you manage, how many squats did you manage, and also, if you can, give Rosie a little high five, give her a little like. How many likes have we got today, Nikki? Any, any nice high fives coming in? 30,000 high fives. Thanks, guys. That's wonderful. Right, so, Rosie, I'm sorry to say, the last fitness challenge is the burpee. So, you can go chest to floor. Can you just demonstrate one chest to floor where you go hands to the floor, chest to the floor, push up, and then jump? That's the harder version. The easier version is where you just oh go. My, God, my arms like. Can't the easier version where you just go hands and then kick out into a plank and then up. Yeah. Yeah. Can you go for those ones? I'm gonna go okay. for those ones. Well done. Right. Have a little drink. Have a little breather. We're starting in 20 seconds time. This is the 60 second burpee challenge. So go at your own pace. Do as many as you can. Rosie, are you ready? 10 seconds. Yeah. And then we'll start our workout. <laughs> okay. Hold your breath. Nice deep breath, sorry. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Come on in, 60 seconds. You can do this, Rosie. Good, amazing. Mrs. Rosie Wicks, teaching assistant of the year. You've got a medal already, Thank amazing. You. you can come forward a little bit. Watch your feet at the back there, that's it. Good, perfect. How many can you do? Keep going, keep going, well done. Perfect reps, everybody, keep it going. You've got to do as many as you can. Try and beat the number you got last time. Amazing, really good technique, Rosie. Make sure when you kick back, you keep your abs strong. So you don't want to dip your back, keeping your back straight, squeeze your quads, keep your abs tight. Okay, you're halfway, just get into the rhythm. Keep breathing, stay in the flow, you're doing so well. All right, quiz time. What is older, the Colosseum in Rome or the Parthenon in Greece? What is older, the Colosseum in Rome or the Parthenon in Greece? Rose, you've got 15 seconds, you're doing so well, keep it going. You're doing so well, keep it up, last few seconds. 10 seconds, nine, eight, keep going, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and high five. Well done. Good work. That's fantastic. That's amazing. How do you feel? Good. I'm out of breath already. So well done to everybody else that completed that fitness challenge. Hopefully, remember those numbers, and I'm sure we'll be doing this again in a few more weeks' time. So we can do it every four weeks on a Monday morning. We'll redo the test. Okay. The answer was, Rosie, what is older, the Colosseum in Rome or the Parthenon in Greece? What do you think? Wait, you can't... Can't put me on the spot and ask me this question. It's not Rome. It's, it's not. Parthenon. It's the Parthenon. So the Parthenon was built in 440 B, 447 BC, and the Colosseum was built in 70 AD. So thousands of years ago. I should actually know because I helped you do the quiz last night. Right. So we're going to start in about 30 seconds time. Exercise number one is going to be jogging or running on the spot. So either jogging or sprinting on the spot for 30 seconds. Yeah. Little drink. I've got a towel if you want a towel, if you get a little sweat on. I've got a little sweat towel over there, but I haven't washed it for about seven weeks. I haven't actually washed that for seven weeks. Oh. Which is our seventh week and I haven't <laughs> washed it once. Right, so here we go. 30 seconds of running on the spot. In three, two, one, let's go. Off we go, Rosie. 30 seconds, running on the spot. Good, nice job, nice straight back. Okay, next question. Who invented the light bulb and where was he from? Who invented the light bulb and where was he from? That's a good question. I love history trivia is amazing. Today's theme is history. This was my question actually. Yeah, Rosie, who did invent the light bulb? Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, and he's from the USA. Right, Rosie, we've got another seven seconds. Keep running on the spot. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. Right, high five. Remember, you get a 30 second rest. So it's 30 seconds of work, 30 okay, seconds of rest. Everybody, is she doing well? I think she's doing amazingly. Honestly, you're doing really well. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Imagine if I was here now and I didn't have you. It would be Nobody rubbish. would tune in. No one would even get a it good workout. So it's amazing. Right. Exercise number two is going to be your favourite, the squat. So nice wide stance. Sit down yeah. and stand up, yeah? Yeah. You ready for it? So just the time is going to go. Next question. Okay, off you go down with the squats. Good. So do a few facing forward and at the halfway point you can do a little side profile. Number five, what is the Magna Carta? A, an ice cream, B, a nightclub in Essex, or C, a charter of rights agreed to by King John of England? What is the Magna Carta? An ice cream, B, a nightclub in Essex, or C, a charter of rights agreed to by King John of England? I thought it was, a, I thought it was a ice cream myself, to be honest. Right, last few seconds, three, two, one, and relax. Perfect technique, Rosie, amazing squats. The answer is, it's actually C, a charter of rights agreed to by King John of England. Fantastic, right. Rosie, next up we're gonna do the walkout. So 
if you can just demonstrate something, so I haven't been able to do this one, but you put hands on the ground, you walk out into that high plank like that, so look, nice straight plank, abs tight, and then you walk your hands back, standing up straight, perfect. And if it's too hard with your legs straight, you can take your legs wider, so go a bit wider with the legs, that's it, and then hands on the ground, three, two, one, let's go. So we're walking out into a high plank, perfect. You're quite flexible in your hamstrings, but if you've got tight hamstrings, you'll have to take your legs wider. If you're a bit more flexible, you can have the legs closer. Good. So, 30 seconds on the, high, um, the walkouts. Question number six. What year did the Berlin Wall finally come down? A, 1978, B, 1989, or C, 2002? So keep doing your walkouts. You've got five seconds to go. Brilliant technique, Rosie. Let's do one more rep. One more rep to finish. And relax. Thank you very much. Well done. Right. The answer is the Berlin Wall finally came down in 1989. So I was four years old. You weren't even born, were you? No. 1990, so the year before you were born. Amazing. Right, this is a great question. Rose, you come up with this one. Next one we're going to do is on the ground, it's the bicycle crunch. So on your, on the, on the, on your back, nice and slow, controlled, bicycle crunch, great for the abs. Perfect. That's it. Right. If you get hot in your little squirt of water, let me know, yeah? Okay, so, quiz time. It's much, i tell you what, it's so much easier having someone else do the exercises. I can not noise. sweat. Well, I am, I am actually beating up, but I can just get on with it and like, do the questionnaire. The question. So, number seven, Rosie came up with this question. What are hieroglyphics? What are hieroglyphics? Hmm. Is it graffiti? Is it. Oh, is it a, is it a sweet? I was trying to think about things that you learn about in school. Is it something to do with mathematics? School. Right, last few seconds, Rosie. And relax. Perfect. Right, standing up then. So the answer is hieroglyphics are picture symbols which the Egyptians use as writing. I've got to really check this before I um we have to, we really we, have to, we cannot give out the wrong information. We pr we triple check everything. So hieroglyphics are picture symbols used by the Egyptians as writing. So you might have seen them in a history class. Okay. So next exercise is going to be all number five. Oh no. The mountain climbers. Mountain so climbers. down the ground then on your hands, high plank position. And off we go. Everyone should know this, and we've done quite a few mountain climbs. We've climbed a lot of mountains since we've been doing this. Okay, question number eight. What does July 4th celebrate in the USA? Now, when I went to America, I was with my friend, and we cycled through um, the west coast of America, and we, we were there on July 4th, and we ended up having the most amazing party ever. It was so much fun. So, uh, July 4th actually celebrates Independence Day. It's called Independence Day. Last few seconds, Rosie. I see you clock watching. Three, two, one, and relax. Brilliant. Right, we've only got five more exercises, then we've got our two-minute rest, and then we'll go back round for a second round. So the next one's going to be lunge jump. Do you know what? I might do this with you. So, hold my hand. Couples lunge jumping. If you've got someone you're with them, you can do it like this, look. Lunge, jump, lunge, jump. If you're on your own, you just do it on your own. But if you are with someone, you fancy doing it as a partner workout, you just jump, you go lunge. Ready? Sorry. One, two, three. Okay, ready? Let's go. Right, one, two. Oh, I'm doing the suit again, aren't I? Woo! How does it feel when you only do one exercise, though? It gets so hot. It gets so hot. I mean, you've got to think, even when you're on the train in the suit, it's like, it's so uncomfortable. Right, keep going. We've got 15 seconds. Oh, keep going, yeah, keep going. Ah. Oh, it's the hand. It's the hand. It's playing me up. It is throbbing. Throbbing some Crusoe. Right, keep going. Five seconds. Five, four, three, good technique. Two, one, and relax. Well done, Rose. Right, grab yourself a little drink. Next question, number nine. The Titanic sunk on April 15th, 1925. True or false? The Titanic sunk on April 15th. I'm out of breath. Two days in hospital. The Titanic sunk on April 15th, 1925. True or false? Okay, next exercise, Rosie, is. I actually need you to show me this one. So you shuffle to the side. And you touch the ground, so you shuffle to the okay. side. It's called the truffle shuffle. Okay? Three, two, one, let's go. So touch the ground, shuffle to the side, touch the ground, perfect. So the Titanic sunk on April 15th, 1925, true or false? The answer is it was false. It was April 15th, 1912. So I threw you there with the dates, I threw you with the years. Well done, Rosie. Keep going, you've got 12 seconds on the clock. Come on, 12 seconds, only three more exercises off, and you get a nice two minute rest. You're doing so well, darling. Keep it up. Five seconds, four, three, a bit quicker, two, one, and relax, good. My, um, my goal is to get you to break a proper sweat, but you know these oh, lights, sweet. how hot is it in here? So and now imagine me here. in a suit, and then imagine me just a Scooby-Doo and a frog. Honestly, 
It will cost you, it will get you. What are you doing next week? Okay, next exercise is, to, right, so a bit of coordination. Jab, cross, hook, kick, yeah? So it's practice the jab, cross, so jab, cross, hook, kick, yeah? So face the camera. So it's jab, cross, straight, 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 hook, kick, yeah? Don't come near me, I'm just going to punch okay. your hand. Let's go. Jab, cross, hook, Good. kick, yeah? And put your right leg back a little bit further so your right leg's back a bit, that's it. So jab, cross, hook, kick, good. Jab, cross, hook, kick, that's it, perfect. Next question, which of these dinosaurs could fly? A, Tyrannosaurus rex, B, Pterodactyl, or C, Velociraptor? Which of these dinosaurs could fly? Was it Tyrannosaurus rex, Pterodactyl, or Velociraptor? Well done, Rosie, last few seconds, five seconds, you're doing so well. Perfect technique, three, two, one, and relax, well done, good work. Right, have a little drink. Oh, we've only got five more questions to go. I better slow down, get, I'm steaming through them, aren't I? I know. Yeah, I'm saving them because I'm getting too hasty, I'm getting too excited. 15 more than 15. Okay, so, oh, it's so nice having a breather and just having a little break. Because normally I'm talking like this all the way through and exercise. I don't know where my lungs are getting the air it's from. It's really hard, I don't know how to So do next one is a, is a shoulder plank. So on, on your high, high plank, high plank position on your hands and you're going to tap your shoulders. So tap one and then the other. Good, so you can do the same thing from the knees. Just do it from the knees, Rosie. So you can do the same thing either from the knees, look, so shoulder taps, or you can lift up into the full plank, Rosie. Good, and you just want to try not to rock. Imagine you're resting a glass here on your back, look. A glass of water. Yeah, it's so much harder. You feel the difference when you don't rock your hips. Like you've got to use all the muscles here. It's amazing how strong that can make you. Well done, keep going. You've got 10 seconds on this one, so shoulder taps, high plank shoulder taps. For five seconds, Rosie, good. Squeeze your abs, really think about not rocking those hips. Three, two, one, and relax, perfect, right. Rosie, the final exercise. This is a new one, I couldn't do this, I've wanted to do this one for a while. It's six climbers, one burpee. So standing up in a standing up position. So side on, if you go down for six climbers. So. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up. Good, and then down again for six. Yeah, oh, you don't want to do it, don't want another one. Okay, so it's six mountain climbers, one burpee. So this is the real quiz, it's the final exercise. Six mountain climbers, one burpee. You're going to start down there, yeah? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and up. And again, go down for six climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and up. Good, so six mountain climbers, one burpee, as many as you can. It's the last exercise, then we're going to get a two minute rest. You're doing so well, Rosie. 15 seconds to go. Come on, let's go, work high energy now, high intensity, let's push it. It's Monday morning, we have the weekend. Last little bit of effort, Rosie, can you do one more set? You've got five seconds to complete it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Well done, Rosie, you have got a little sweat on there. That is amazing. Right, two minute timer. How are you feeling? It's so hard to talk at the same time. Let me time. give you a little towel. I don't want to use that towel. Really? I've washed it for seven weeks. Uh, okay, what I about a sweat on my face? What about this little t-shirt? Okay, I'll embrace sure? the sweat. Okay, you look fantastic. Right, so Nikki, let's do a few shouts. We've got two minutes, um, and then we'll carry on with our quiz and our second round of workouts. Thank you. Whew. Hello to Olivia and Sophie in Hong Kong. Happy birthday, Summer. Huey Ward, happy ninth birthday. Hello to Sophia Marnes in Halifax. Happy seventh birthday to Luna. That's a lovely name. Happy twelfth birthday to Joseph Waters in West Midlands. Keep going, you've got a minute to go. Oh, it's the 4th of May, so happy birthday to anyone. May the 4th be with you. If it's your birthday, have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning in with us. Star um, Wars Day, you didn't yeah, say. Star, Star, sorry, it's May Star the 4th. Star Wars Day, yeah, Star, Star Wars Day. Wars day. Um, any more shout outs, Nikki? Hello to Chelsea, Beth and Sam in Manchester. They're hard to remember those ones, aren't we? We've reeled like five names, they're like, what? Okay, one more, Nikki. Ella, James and Mum and Dad in Scotland. Right, well done, thank you Rosie. So, we're gonna go back in again with our jogging sprint on the spot. One more thing Rosie, just come here. I wanna see if you can do the, the silly walk that I've done when I go out of the car. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> you've got a little face, you've got a little face. Quick, come on, one more time. One more, ready? You've got to really get the lean back. Look at the camera. <laughs> what is the face? It's just gotta be silly. Right, 
silly Billy, over there. Run on the spot. Really? In three, oh. two, one, let's go. Run on the spot, I think so, fantastic. He came in the house and told me he'd done that on his own. I knew, I knew they were gonna use that photo. I said, I'm gonna do the si I'm gonna do the silliest photo that possible. I wanted the I wanted the paparazzi to be laughing so much that the camera was just gonna shake and vibrate and it'd be all blurry. And to be fair, I do actually look like a lot less monster, don't I? I was I mean, thinking, all... what must the neighbours think? You just by yourself walking It's all a bit blurry, right? Keep going, you've got seven seconds of running. Seven seconds. Arrgh! Keep going, Rosie. Last little sprint, a little bit quicker. Three, two, one. And relax. Okay, this is a great question. Number 11. In 1969, Apollo 11 landed on A, the moon, B, Pizza Planet, or C, Uranus. In 1969, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Is it funny? I'm very childish. In 1969, Apollo 11 landed on A, the moon, B, Pizza Planet, or C, Uranus. She thinks that's funny. The answer is A, land on the moon. It I landed on the moon. Apollo 11 was the first landing on the moon. Right, so the next one is the squats, Rosie. Demonstrating a perfect technique. Good, side on, let's have a little side on profile. So sitting down low and standing up tall. If you can't get right down, you can just do half a rep, as deep as you can. Right, so number 12, here's one for the music fans out there. What year was the first ever Glastonbury Music Festival? What year, Nikki, have a guess, what year was the first Glastonbury Music Festival? You should know this because we were going this year, but it got cancelled. Oh, it's the 50th anniversary, come on. Right, relax, 30 second rest. The answer was it's the 19th of September, 1970. 1970, 50 years ago. That's amazing. Right, next one's going to be the walkouts, Rose. Remember standing up? Hands on the ground, walk out into the uh, high plank and then walk back. Yeah. Oh, I'm running out of questions, I love the quiz. Okay, <laughs> next, number 13. Right, let me just get out of the way of the timer, I'm probably blocking the timer. Number 13, who was the United Kingdom's first female Prime Minister? Nikki, any guesses? Who was the female first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? He's got it, I knew he would. So, this woman was Prime Minister from 1979 to 1990. Her name was Margaret Thatcher. Rosie, amazing technique. Remember, when you come down, you're getting sweat on your back and your feet. You're really well behind like yeah. it. It's like getting a, it's like Costa del Sol in here with these yeah. lights. There's lights there, there's lights there. That one's bigger than the sun. And it's like, oh. Right, last few seconds, Rosie. Three, two, one. And we're like, it is like a sauna. Can you imagine how hot I get? I don't know how you did it. You're going to pass that one. And like, I'm going like 100% on never so I'm so <laughs> hot. Okay, so the answer was the first ever female Prime Minister was the wonderful Margaret Thatcher. Okay, so Rosie, exercise number four is bicycle crunches. So on your back, uh, doing the bicycle crunches left to right. What's tomorrow's quiz? Tomorrow's going to be wildlife and animals. So tomorrow's all about animals and wildlife, different trivia each week, each day. That that okay, we're going in four seconds, Rosie. So nice and slow with the bicycle crunches. Question number 14. Mm. What is William Shakespeare most famous for? What is William Shakespeare most famous for? A, freestyle rapping, B, writing plays, or C, TikTok dancing? What is William Shakespeare most famous for? A, freestyle rapping, B, writing plays, or C, TikTok dancing? Rosie, you've got six seconds left. You are doing so well. You are doing so well done. So proud of you. Three, two, one, and relax. Perfect, right. Up we get. The next one's gonna be, oh, actually, you might as well stay there because it's the mountain climbers. I don't think I've seen you sweat this much before. You train well, hard, but you don't get a proper sweat on do you? Like, but you're really working hard now. It's very hot, and I like doing more like low impact stuff. Yeah, you're more of a kind of, she's like more of a kind of, you know, sort of dumbbell kind of girl. She lifts heavy weights, she's strong. And I do heavy slow, weights more than You're not a kind of hip, hip, kind of hip kind of girl, are you? Right, so in seven seconds time, Rosie, this is the one that's getting you hot. It's the mountain climbers. Three, two, one, let's go. This is exercise number five, and then we've only got five more moves. It's been a slightly longer workout because we've done the three minute fitness challenge. And then we've done the 10 minute workout. Okay, I mean on the workout. hardest day. Yeah, you come on the hardest day. Right, keep going, we've got 20 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds, amazing. Okay, we've got one more question. Keep going, Rosie, you've got 10 seconds. Can you go faster? Good. Look, knees to my hand, knees to my hand. Go pump, 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 go fast, fast, fast. That's it, keep your abs tight. This works your abs as well. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Brilliant, right, have a little drink. The, ne the next question, this is the last one. Final question of the day. What did Guy Fawkes attempt to do on November the 5th, 1605? What did Guy Fawkes attempt to do on the 5th of November, 1605? A, pop a sweet wheelie on his BMX. B, block parliament. Or C, do a fart in silence. Hmm, what did he try to do? 
That's an hour for one that's made you laugh, isn't it? <laughs> that's what okay, you so, do. Uh, lunge jumps. You're doing this? I'm going to honestly, oh. the pressure. It's so oh, much. It's, 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 the, the coding's worn off. Right, lunge jumps. So, what did Guy, this is the last question. What did Guy Fawkes attempt to do on November the 5th, 1605? A, pop a sweet wheelie on his BMX. B, block Parliament. Or C, do a fart in silence. The answer was, he tried to block Parliament. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. Isn't it? Yeah. So, that's the end of our quiz. I really enjoyed that. So you don't know what to do with yourself when you're not exercising. No, no, I've got a clipboard. So I've run out of ideas. Right, three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. Okay, so the quiz is amazing. Give everyone a little clap. Can we just say well after the quiz? Me and Rosie sat down last night and came up with that quiz. So I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow's going to be wildlife and animals. Wednesday's going to be music and pop culture. Ooh. So like, you know, who sung this song or what album is this from? Like movies. We're going to do a movie one. Disney. Yeah. Oh, Disney Plus. Yeah, we'll do a movie one. So, next exercise row is going to be the jab. Remember, jab, cross, hook, kick, yeah? So, yeah. start with the left, right leg back. You go straight, straight, hook, cross. Here we go. Three, two, one. Perfect. So, who would like Rosie to join us tomorrow? Because I, I mean, I really am an optimist and I'm, I'm a hard worker and I've got quite a high pain threshold, but I have been told I can't get this hot and sweaty and I can't, I can't get it inflamed again because it will, although they took the wires out, it might might kick up again. So who thinks Rosie should come back tomorrow to you. and demonstrate and be our teaching assistant tomorrow? Do you think Mrs. Wicks has done a good job? Let us know in the comments below. Say yes. Right, three seconds. Two, one, and relax. Perfect. Right, well done Rosie. Have a little, a little breather. We've now got the shoulder taps, high plank, and the six climber to the burpee to finish. We're two oh. exercises away, so you're only one minute yeah. away from finishing. You are so quickly. hot. You are literally smoking. Up a little sweat. You are smoking hot. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Um, next exercise then is going to be in the high plank number nine, down on the, foot, on the ground. So up in the high plank, press up position. And from there, we're going to tap the shoulders. Yeah, off you go. So the idea, remember, is look, imagine you're balancing this on your back and you're trying not to rock that off. Yeah, it's so hard to keep still. Right, it's on your back. Try it. See what how, is that? how hard it is. It's a water bottle. I can feel it dripping on me. Try and, that's it, like, look, try and keep, oh, it's rolled. Oh, no. That's the challenge. So you don't rock side to side. You're really engaging your core. I feel like I'm still, but I must not be. No, you are. This is really tough. That's not easy. Right, keep going. You've got 10 seconds to go. Last few seconds. Squeeze those abs. Don't rock side to side. Brace your core. Pull it flat. Up for three, two, one, and relax. Can you feel that work in your shoulders as well, like your upper body and all your core? My weakest point is like here. But that's, that's just because you haven't used to it. When you start doing more of this, like you will. We press that challenge every week now. I'd love to know if you've done, and also let us know if you've got a higher score this week than you did four weeks. I'd love to know how your numbers have improved because that's a real measurement of your, of your, um, your progress and your strength because you can do more press ups, more squats, and more burpees. So, Rosie, last exercise, are you ready for it? Last 30 Climbers. seconds. We are doing the six last climbers. One. The last one, you've smashed it. High five here. Right, you ready? Ugh. Three, two, one, let's go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up, good, and again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six knees to the chest and up. Rosie, we've done all the questions. We've done all the exercises. This is the last 18 seconds of the workout. You've done so well. You've really, honestly, she is working out really hard. She's really pushing herself. Keep going, Rosie. Last few seconds, 10 to go. Okay, can you do one more now? Right, let's go. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're like, yeah. nice guys, well done, give us a big well hug, what's the arm? Oh, well done, that was amazing, how do you feel? Good. How, yeah, how do you, listen, how do you feel after it? You know I'm up here all the time, I love it. When you do it, how does it make you feel? You want to catch your breath? Let her catch your breath. Yeah. Let's, let me just give all of you a quick clap and a big high five and say thank you for coming and tuning in today. Nikki, how many live streamers did we have today? 350,000, it's one of our Yay. highest days. So Rosie, how are you feeling? It's so true what you say, you never ever regret it, even if it's so hard when you're doing it. You're always so glad that you did it afterwards. Even 10 minutes a day. Now I've earned myself a nice breakfast. You sure have, I'm earning <laughs> breakfast, darling. Breakfast is on me. So, Rosie, really would you like to show and highlight yes. what the differences are today? Do you know what they are? So, is this one? Yeah, that's our the wedding, wedding photo. picture. Which I love. Which I feel like you've done before. Yeah, but I, I've run out, I'm running out of objects, seriously. So, the wedding photo. We've got the some jam, strawberry jam. Clearly, we are running out of things. We're having to use food items. That's one, uh, two. Your bike shoes. Bike shoes. This is. I don't know where this came from. This is Indy's favourite little wear. She actually cuddles this in bed. Miniature teddy bear. So tiny. And then the last one and this is one, this bear. Which so I'm always well hearing 
singing head, shoulders, knees and toes. So let's just have you can sit down a little stretch. If you sit down your bottom and just um, hands out, try and touch your toes, yeah. So trying to stretch the bottom of your legs. Well done. So stretch your hamstrings. So Nikki, let's just do another minute of um, another minute of shout outs. I just want to say a massive again thank you to everyone that's tuned in today, every single day we've done so far, because all of the money we've raised, we've raised two hundred thousand pounds. That's so much money from T-shirts alone and YouTube views as a community, um, and that's so amazing. It's going to help a lot of people, you know, through this NHS charities uh, fund. And yeah, amazing for my wife Rosie today. Will you come back tomorrow? Oh, we'll come back tomorrow. You don't yeah. want to divorce me? No, because I feel good now. I'm glad I did it. It's win-win, isn't it? So did you enjoy it? Let us know if you did. And if you want Rosie back, give us a thumbs up. I'd love to see. I mean, I, I need you. I really need you. So Yeah, I don't want you doing it, so. I can't. Yeah, I can't push it. Option. Push my luck, didn't I? But um, thanks again. And Nikki, let's just do a quick little shout out and then we'll say goodbye. Good morning, Izzy and Kenilworth. Hello to everyone at Holy Trinity Primary School in Burnley. Can do one. Seb, Sarah and Belle in the New Forest, hello. Edward and Elliot in Morocco. Hello to Violet and Nancy in Stockport. Hello to Poppy and Lucy in Leeds. Let's do two more, Nikki. Hello, Molly Stone in the Isle of Wight. And the last one, Daisy and Duke in Cornwall. So let's give them a little uh, high five. A clap, 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 clap. High five. Hi, everyone. Let's give a little bow. It's really hard. I've realized Thank you, everybody. Tough, so we'll, see, everyone. we'll see you tomorrow morning. Same again, 9 a.m. Lots of love. Have a great day. Keep smiling. And thanks again for tuning in to Pee with Joe with Joe Wicks, Mr. Body Coach, and Mrs. Rosie Wicks, Mrs. Body coach. Mrs. Body coach. Bye everybody. See ya. See ya.